Welcome, YouTube, to the best Trevor Lawrence collection in the history of mankind. Yes, I said it. A lot of people like to ask me every single day, Grant, I know you PC Trevor Lawrence, but let me see some cards. Well, I am about to show you every single Trevor Lawrence in my PC. So buckle up, strap in tight, because not only are we going to the moon, but all Trevor PCers, you're coming with us. Trevor, one of one, select laundry tag. This of Joe Burrow, about a year and a half ago, a year ago, I believe did $200,000. I got this card. This is the most expensive card in my PC for $40,000. And I think I got it a couple months ago. I think this is up. Trevor stock is on fire right now. This, I got this at last year's nationals. I remember, and I think I got it for around... 3500 so i need the people in the in the chat watching or wherever you are to comment how i did because i'm going to tell you what i think i got these cards for because i don't know everyone off the top of my head because these were from years ago some but that i think i got for 3700 i did this in a trey lance xrc tie-dye both psa 10s i believe the deal was for 7400 i believe i remember it was both xrc 10s for like 75 7400 this was one of the first ever cards I got. 15 out of 15 because I thought this was the closest thing to a color match for Trevor. I don't know if it is because I am colorblind, but I do have two of them. 15 out of 15 and 4 out of 15. I don't even know how much I got these for. If I had to guess, 1000 1500 a pop. Not 100% sure. Obviously, you know what's crazy about this card? Pulled it out of the first box. First case I domed. I pulled one, slabbed it. I had the first ever. I had this card as a pop one. And the first ever sold of this, I believe, was like 2800 in a PSA 10. And I wonder what the pop is now. We're going to find out. Pop 234. So the last time I scanned that card was over a year ago. And it said pop one. Now there's 234 of them. This one... People sleep on it. PSA 10, Trevor Lawrence, Silver. These are so hard to gem this year. I've slapped probably 15 of these. Only one of them got a 10. Look at that. Pop 5. This product has been out. This prism came out before Donruss. Pop 234 for a case hit. Silver prism auto pop. Pop 5. That means this card is probably worth. I got this card raw. For like a thousand. Slabbed it up. This card, I wouldn't be surprised if it's 5k plus. Domed a select hobby box. Two out of two, Trevor 9.5. What is this valued at? I don't know, but I got it for like a thousand because the box is like a thousand. Probably, if I had to guess, four to 5k. Green Kaboom. Look at it. Pulled this out of a loose box. Bought it off the guy. The guy bought him for 500 bucks. I bought this off him. $15,000 wire on the spot. Is it worth 15 k I don't care because I'm keeping it forever. It's crazy though. The story behind some of these are crazy. This was a Panini One release. I remember it. There was like four boxes left in the case. The chat kept saying, Dome it, Grand Dome it. Domed it, got this card. Five out of five. These Trevors out of 15, 20 are doing like two to 2.5. So I would assume a Nike swoosh BGS nine out of five, probably four to 5K card at least. This is a big one. See, this is back when I didn't know about sports cards. This was release week of first off the line NT. One of our customers, David L, shout out David L, hit this card. I actually ended up buying, I probably am down on this card. Bought this card for $35,000. But this card is probably thirty dollars now. If I had to guess. I mean, if you got to think about it. Look what a, a bad purchase this was. 
101 true for 40. 10 out of 10 for 35. Great buy, terrible buy, but he's the GOAT. So it doesn't matter. See, Trevor, we were at the Dallas Card Show, if you're watching, my friend. I traded him, uh, I believe it was cash, and then a Trevor Red Zone 9.5 because I had three of them. I don't have an immaculate RPA. It's so hard to 9.5 these cards, so a 9.5 on this is probably a pop one. It's probably three. It's probably 4,000, four to 5,000. If I had to guess, one of my favorites, Manga Trevor bought this card raw for 2,400, slabbed it up, PSA 10. I'm in the card for 2,600. I can sell this card for 7,500 AK. That's called Sports Cards Profit, Zach. And Zach is right there. Guess what I, guess what I bought this card? As you're watching, pause it in your head, now think. Case it, Trevor, rookie. Gemmed, fourteen hundred dollars. Cards probably four K now. Congrats. Nine five red zone Trevor. It's actually crazy because I gave Bugsy one of these for free. I had three of them. This card was seventeen hundred dollars two months ago. Last sold of this in a of Gem Plus did thirty seven hundred. So doubled in two months. Trevor has not even thrown a football in an NFL game. This was my first ever T-Law. My first one ever. Triz hit it for a customer. Raw. I bought it for 2,500, I remember. Slobbed it up, my first ever 10. Trevor True Gold Mosaic. Beautiful card. You gotta have some nines in there. Camo Trevor to 15. Bought this off a customer who hit it in the backyard. Sam, I remember you. Thank you. Oh, this one. It's really, really sick stuff. Do you even know the story, Zach? Well, let me tell you. Someone got into a big break. They were a first-time buyer. I gave them one free pack of Prism. This is the card that came out. And he DM'd me. I haven't got in. You know, I don't know how to slab up cards. I never do this anymore because it's so confusing. He's like, can you please send it to PSA for me? You know, and then ship it back to me. I, sh I shipped it to him. I paid for his grading. Shipped it back to him. All for free because it was basically free. And then he goes, I want to sell it to you. I ended up buying it off him for like, I think it was like 6,500 or 6K. So I basically gave the guy 6K for free. But I think this card comps around 6K now. So he is happy. I'm happy. Everybody's happy. Let's find out. I'm curious. I got this. This was a redemption in last year's first off the line optic. I bought a couple of these. This was a pop one the last time I checked. Wow. One has popped up. It's not good news for me, but congrats to the other person. To 21 first off the line PSA 10. Beautiful. Wow. PSA 10. Trevor Rookie. 101 Black Finery. Bought it off Golden. There was a lot of drama with this card. But it's in, it's in a good home now. And it's not going anywhere. Stained glass case hit 95. Trevor bought this off eBay. Look, you could scan it if you want. I don't even know what pops up if you scan this. Does the purchase pop up? Let's find out. Oh, authenticated. Huh. Well, 95 rookie stained glass. Trevor's him. This I bought on Golden at SGC9, cracked it. Got a PSA 9. SGC 9 is better. This card's up 100%. True Gold Prism boss bought it off a customer back in the day. I think I bought it for a steal. I think it was like $8,000 I bought it for, which this card is way more than $8,000 right now. True Gold, 2 out of 10. Beauty. Now look at these. Triple whammy. PSA 9. PSA 9. 9.5. Cracked ice, cracked ice. 2 out of 21, 13 out of 21, 7 out of 21. These are one of the most aesthetically pleasing cards in the hobby. I believe the PSA 9s are around 10. I believe 9 to 10. And I believe the 9.5 is like 16 to 17. Which I know I bought one of these raw. I don't know which one it was. So look, this is a basic lesson. I think I bought all these raw for around, which is I overpaid. These were like... The hobby was in a different marketplace when I bought these. I think I bought these for like ten dollars to $11,000 raw each. So these I probably still lost with PSA 9s. I don't know what the last sold is this. 
But then this is where I made all the money back. All you had to do is gem one. Say I bought all for 11,000 in for 33 with fees. Slabbed up salmon for 34. This is probably, is that 34? This is probably like 16, we'll call it. Plus 11, plus 11, 20, 38. So you're up 4K on the deal. So all you need is one to gem, you make money. Welcome to the hobby. This, I bought off a customer also. Throwback to 25, I actually recently saw one of these ends. I think it was like 3K. Which I bought this, which was a steal. I bought this, these two together and a couple of Zions for my customer when the comps were low for like 4K. With a couple of Zion rookie autos too, which these two combined is more than 4K. So shout out my boy. Downtown PSA 10 Trevor. I pretty much have every case hit Trevor. PSA 10. Orange Trevor to 25. Beautiful, beautiful card. One of my favorites in the PC. Hopefully, pray it's still a pop one. Because Prism has been out for over a year and a half. Wow. The pop ones are now pop twos. Dang it. It hurts so bad. Close your eyes, haters. They're not going to like this one. I'm not going to say the price I got this one for, but I bought it at a Dallas card show. Some guy had it. I had to have it. If you have a gold kaboom out there and you're selling, I'm a buyer. Double NFL shield got this off golden. I mean, what's better than one shield? I love the look of that shield. It looks like a real shield. It's hard. This was actually an SGC 8.5, and I cracked it. Got a BGS 8.5 with two 8.5s. You know, the edges and the corners on Impeccable are very tough. Right, but I love that card. Flawless 101. You know the story behind this. I bought this off eBay for like 6K. I was making a video about my Trevors like a week later, and I was looking up Trevor Lawrence Auto. This was literally on eBay, getting sold by a random account. And it got bid up to 13K. Like within weeks, I could have made 7K on this card. I've had offers of 15K plus. But it's a rookie flawless 101. I can't sell it. Gold XRC. This card I got in a Dallas card show. Again, I traded up to it from a Roman Reigns gold WWE prism to this card. I got this at around 9K trade value in cash. This card right now is probably 15 so within a year, I'm up $6,000 on that card. This is probably my biggest gainer, Trevor Lawrence, of all time. True Gold, I bought this at a card show, Nationals, last year. Some guy came up to me with it raw. He said he domed a pack. Hit this card. I bought it off him for trade and cash for $12,000. I believe it was 10 k cash, 2 k trade. A BG, a PSA 8.5 of this sold for 27K. And I believe this is a pop two or three, none higher, if I remember correctly. Pop three, none higher. So it's the highest pop Trevor. And I believe this card is around $30,000. So on one purchase from $12,000 last year to $30,000 today. Another gold and then the last two golds. Trevor, rated rookie gold, optic. I actually domed the box on release day, hit it. And then Trevor, gold, RPA. Bought it off PWCC, as you can see right there. And I just found the last two. I thought I lost it with a sweat. Trevor, gold, five out of 10. Bought it raw, and look at the subgrades. 10, 10, 9, 5, and they had to give me a Surface A5, or this would have been a 9, 5. Really sick BGS. I want to talk with you. That's a big boy card too. And then one of my favorites. Bought this raw. Was hit in the backyard. His best card in the select product. Better than a shield. The field level is superior to shield any other auto 101. And it is the field level Trevor 95101. One of my favorite cards. And that is, let's see how many that is. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, let's see how many Trevors I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I have around 40 big Trevor Lawrence cards. 40 big ones. 
How much is the whole collection worth? How much am I in for? I have zero clue. But all I know is I'm up money right here. And it's the only investment I've ever made money in. And guess what? It's going to keep going up. I promise you that. Let me know what you think. I'll see you guys later.